Welcome. Uh, this is another video in my NIV Bible reading series. NIV stands for New International Version. Um, yeah, so uh, in this video, I will be doing. Uh, I will reading be reading through Exodus twelve, and uh, yeah. So in Exodus chapter eleven. Uh, the last of the of the ten plagues was getting ready, was, was getting ready to be um, performed, which is the plague of the firstborn. And uh, yeah, so chapter twelve is gonna be this is where it's, it's gonna be. Uh, chapter twelve is, is like actually a pretty long chapter. Um, let's see. as far as I can, compared to the other ones, it seems, and, uh, yeah, so basically, it's the whole idea that the Passover is going to be done, which are, like, the preparations to take, will be taken so that Israel, um, the Israelites won't have to have their firstborn killed either. So, uh, yeah, uh, if you like this video and want to see more, um, if you're on YouTube, there is a playlist. Uh, you can check out the playlist. And if you press the first few seconds of the video, top right-hand corner, and click on it for the first few seconds, it'll be there. And then, yeah, it'll have everything in the NIV version that I've already done. But, uh, and yeah, uh, based on whatever whatever time you're, reading, you're watching this, uh, I might have uh, at least started my my series on the ink in the New King James version. So I plan on doing both of them, but it's gonna take like what six years to get finished with it. <laughs> get finished with everything, so three years each. So uh, yeah. Anyway, Let's see what happens. Now let's just get into chapter 12. Uh, the Lord said to Moses and Aaron in Egypt, This month is to be for you and the first, for you the, uh, this month is to be for you the first month, the first month of your year. Tell the whole community of Israel that on the tenth day of this month each man is to take a lamb for his family, eat one for each household. If any household is too small for a whole lamb, they must share one with their one with their nearest neighbor have taken into have it taken into account the number of people who there are. You are to determine the amount of lamb needed in accordance with that with what each person will eat. The animals want the animals you choose must be year old males without defect and you may take them from the sheep or the goats. Take care of them until the fourteenth day of the month when all the people of the community of Israel must slaughter them at twilight. Then they are to take some of the blood and put it on the sides and tops of the door frames of the Houses where they are, where they eat the lambs. That same night, they are to eat the meat roasted over the fire, along with bitter herbs and bread made bread made without yeast. Do not eat the meat raw or cooked in water, but roasted over the fire, head, legs, and inner parts. Do not leave any of it until morning. If some le some is left till morning, you must burn it. This is how you are to eat it: with your cloak tucked into your belt, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand. Eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. On that same night I will pass through Egypt and strike down every firstborn, both men and animals, and I will bring judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I am the Lord. The blood will be a sign for you on the houses where you are, and when I see the blood I will pass over you. No destructive plague will, tor will touch you when I strike Egypt. This is a day you are to commemorate. For the generation to come you, you shall celebrate it as a festival to the Lord, a lasting ordinance. For seven days you are to eat bread made without yeast. On the first day, remove the yeast from your houses. In your houses, for whoever eats anything with yeast in it from the first day through the seventh must be cut off from Israel. On the first day, he they hold a sacred assembly, and another one on the seventh day. Do not do no work at all on these days except to prepare food for everyone to eat. This is all you all you may do. Celebrate the feast of unleavened bread because it it, it was on this very day that I brought your, your divisions out of Egypt. Celebrate this day as a lasting ordinance for the generations to come. 
In the first month you are to eat bread made without yeast from the evening of the fourteenth day till the evening of the twenty-first day. For, for seven days no yeast is to be found in your houses, and whoever eats anything with yeast in it must be cut off from the community of Israel, whether he is an alien or, nat or native-born. Eat nothing made with yeast. Wherever you live, you must eat unleavened bread. Then Moses summoned all the elders of Israel and said to them, Go at once and select the animals for your families and slaughter the Passover lamb. Take a bunch of hyssop, dip it into the blood in the basin, and put some of the blood on the top and on both sides of the door frame. Not one of you shall go out the door of his house until morning. When the, when the Lord goes through the land to strike down the Egyptians, he will see the blood on the top and sides of the door frame and will pass over that doorway. And he will not permit the destroyer to enter your houses and strike you down. Obey these instructions as a lasting ordinance for you and your descendants. When you enter the land that the Lord will give you as a promise, as promised, observe this ceremony. And when your children ask you, what does this ceremony mean to you, tell them, It is the Passover sacrifice of the Lord who passed over the houses of the Israelites in Egypt and spared our homes when he struck down the Egyptians. Then the people bowed down and worshipped. The Israelites did just what the Lord commanded Moses and Aaron. At midnight, the Lord struck down all the firstborn in Egypt, from the firstborn of Pharaoh who sat on the throne to the firstborn of the prisoner who was in the king, who was in the dungeon, and the firstborn of all the livestock as well. Pharaoh and all his officials and all the Egyptians got up during the night, and there was loud wailing in Egypt, for there was not a house without some without someone dead. During the night, Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron and said, "Up, oh, leave my people, you and the Israelites. Go worship the Lord as you have requested. Take your flocks and herds as you have said, and go." And also bless me. The Egyptians urged the people to hurry and, and leave the country. For otherwise, they said, we will all die. So the people took their, do their dough before the yeast was outed and carried it on their shoulders in, in netting troughs wrapped in clothing. The Israelites did as Moses instructed and asked the Egyptians for articles of silver and gold and for clothing. The Lord had made the Egyptians favorably disposed toward the people, and they gave them what they asked for, so they plundered the Egyptians. The Israelites journeyed from Remesis to Succoth. There were about 600,000 men on foot, besides women and children. Many other people went up with them, as well as large droves of livestock, both flocks and herds. With the dough they had brought from Egypt, they baked cakes of unleavened bread. The dough was without yeast because they had been driven out of Egypt and did not have time to prepare food for themselves. Now the length of, them, in the length of time the Israelite people lived in Egypt was 430 years. At the end of the 430 years to the very day, all the Lord's divisions left Egypt, because the Lord kept vigil that night to bring them out of Egypt. On this night, all the Israelites are to keep vigil to honor the Lord for the, for the generations to come. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, These are the regulations for the Passover. No foreigner is to eat of it. Any slave you have, brought, you have bought may eat of it after you have circumcised him. But a temporary resident with any hired worker may not eat of it. It must be eaten inside one house. Take, take in one house. Take none of the meat outside the house. Do not break any of the bones. The whole community of Israel must celebrate it. An alien living among you who wants to celebrate the Lord's Passover must have all the males in his household circumcised. Then he may take part like one born in the land. No uncircumcised male may eat of it. The same law applies to the native born and to the alien living among you. All the Israelites did just what the Lord had commanded Moses and Aaron, and on that very day the Lord brought the Israelites out of Egypt by their divisions. Okay, that was chapter 12. Now, I'm going to say this throughout throughout as, as, as each video as I see fit, as I, as I see, you know, to it, as, as I um, deem it, um, whatever, as, as I think it should be said. These laws that that are being these rules right now that are being said do not apply to modern day Christians these these rules were for were for back then, for, for for the people back then specifically Jews and like like I said I'm guessing um the people that I guess circumcised and all that stuff were part of the a Jews family and stuff like that uh, or just someone who wants to, I guess, who wanted to become somebody of God, a man of God, I guess, or woman, whatever, and stuff like that. Uh, when Jesus came, that nullified that, from what I've been told. 
so because that's just that's just how it is um, Jesus became the sacrificial lamb and I don't I, I don't know if Jesus still I mean not Jesus Jude, Judaism still holds to these practices or anything like that I am not all knowledge all uh, I am not one who has all knowledge of things like that in that area but from what my pastor said my pastor said at church he said we and it says it in the in the 1689 London London Baptist Church confession which you know I'm, I'm going well you don't know but I'm going through right now as of this recording in my they're my in my church as a part of a the um process of becoming a member of my church uh, yeah so I want to make that imp sure that important so you you don't you, if you're as a, as if you're a Christian at least. You don't need to follow all these rules that are being listed right now. You you do need to follow the commandments. Right, you know, which is, do not lie, steal, commit adultery, stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, I want to make that clear. It does say in Matt, like, wait, I'm, I'm reading Matt through Matthew fully for the first time right now on the side. You know, I do it, oh, well, you don't know. On the side, I have other Bible reading projects I'm doing. But, um, so I'm not going to record it all. I don't have time. Uh, but, uh, yeah. I, I want, that's important. You can follow those rules if you want, I guess. You're not going to, as far as I know, you're not going to be punished for that. You know, I personally think it's kind of weird to rub lamb blood all over your door, but you know, as like every year and stuff like that. But um, you know, God, if God wanted that, God wanted that of the Jews back then, but not now. You know, it doesn't matter whether I think something's weird or not. You know, uh, it's God. You know, I can't do nothing about it, and it happened in the past. So you know, it is what it is. Um. But yeah, that's the point I wanted to make, and uh, yeah, that's it. I'm, I'll, uh, I guess, in chapter thirteen, it's just it's gonna keep going through laws and stuff like that, and they're gonna cross the Red Sea and some other things. So uh, yeah, that's that's it. Uh, I'm going.